tell me what made Duncan Edwards such an exceptional player. Well, Duncan Edwards was was he was one year. He was actually a little after the 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 first bud introduction of the Busby Babes. He, he was a year older than me. I came in nineteen fifty three. Duncan Edwards came in nineteen fifty two, and uh, and Jimmy Murphy, the the then assistant manager and the the coach here at at Old Trafford, picked me up at the station at, and took me to my digs, and he was telling me all about. All he ever mentioned was one player. He says we've got this young player, Duncan Edwards, who. Uh, who's a, a wonderful ability, right foot, left foot, short passing, long passing, great control, fast, good in the air, you know, as, a, as an enthusiasm, wants to score goals, he'll be the last man behind it to defend, he says, he's a sensational player, and I, I couldn't believe anybody could be that good, because I, I thought to myself, well, I'm a school boy international, you know, I don't think anybody can be as good as that, but, but he was, he was, and um, I don't think I've ever been more impressed with any young player ever, than with uh, Duncan Edwards, he was he was physically big, and he had this presence, and he had this confidence that he knew he was a great player, and he knew what was expected of him, and he he would run the whole he would run the whole show, you know he would defend he would create and he would score, he was the, he was the total footballer, and um, and any world team that I ever asked asked to select these days I I always include Duncan Edwards, because I've he died very prematurely, obviously, at the Munich air crash. But he, he had, in that short period of time, created a, a name and a reputation that meant he would have been England's prime prime player for uh, for the next 10, 20 years even. He was just a wonderful, wonderful talent. 